Hello everybody, my name is Justin2982 and welcome back to more Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, so we are closing in on, I believe, the end of the Frozen Wild, Frozen Wild's DLC. That looks like a blast from the past, I don't care. Um, there's a daemon that's affecting the machine. Uh, cool, I guess. Um, I mean, oh, hello, uh, what's up with you, text, cyan access, what's that, uh, as acting chief digital security officer and interim AI administrator for the Firebreak project, I hereby stay to have updated the Popular Chem Pattern for the Cyan Regulatory AI on the 17th of September, 2064, according to procedure, to ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging, disarranging, or outlandish mischief of any kind, such as with previous updates, after the source node has been activated, the remaining data nodes must be passed to establish a flow between adjacent intact nodes to then connect back with the source node. Jorgenholm? All right, so it's basically saying, "Hey, let's do the pattern thing." It's a spirit present. Give it a sec. Yeah, I'm working on, it, dude. Just give me a second, would you? Okay. Cool. So we're just doing this again. Got it. Could you maybe not spawn stuff on me while I'm doing this? That'd be appreciated, friend. Or, 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 or... Don't. Oh, sorry, that's where it came from. So... Wait. I am... Um, confusion. Because if I do this, that just stops it on the red point. Um, so I'm just trying to think, because it's got to run through... I mean, if I point it towards this one, I can't get it onto that point, though, is the problem. Same with that. Um, can't run it through to that directly. This one has to go to there. Yeah, because then that just straight up stops it, is the issue. So Lily just needs to hit this point again right here. But I think... I want to... Maybe I need to go the other way, actually, with it. Maybe, instead of that, I need to go this way? Maybe? It's the right way, but... Screw it. That's a, oh, too far, too far, too far. And that gets me to that point. Which then would allow me to do that the problem is this one then can't really do anything um I could do this okay so that's at least not working the way it's set up currently what if because I can run this the here yet this is the thing then I run this one over here do that. I don't know because that's I can't connect then is the issue. Because I won't have anywhere for it to run to. It's really god this thing some days is just annoying. Let's run that to there. I have to run it to here. Then again runs it to here, runs it to here, runs it to here. To this one, and then this one I can go like two ways, but one way does nothing. This way, like, it's caught, essentially. So, yeah, any of them that I turn it to, the problem is I don't have the light running for it, though. Uh, fuck. I've got something wrong here, and I, so I feel like I need to use more parts is my thing. Let me try running it through here. Well, no, again, 
Because literally, again, running it through here gets me to this point, and then I'm I just I'm done. Well, actually, what if I can do this? I can do this. Problem is, then that one still just runs it across. This one would have to be pointing. I actually let me run this backwards. If I run this backwards, that might be easier for me. So then, well, that would have to run directly from that. But if I do that, that means this one will have to run to this one. This one then has to run up from this one. Which will have to run over from here, which will have to run from this one to this one to this one. I think I got it. Boom. That was much easier doing it backwards. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. Mm. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chair. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been exposed, but I am in Gotcha. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the core? If we do. But what will happen if we don't is the main thing. But I think that's the core. Hmm. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you... to let Aloy and I do what must be done. Save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Mm. All right, pals, I mean. I'm not 100% sure how we want to go about this, so... Yeah. So, I mean, that's the core, I mean... The core. It seems easy enough to get there, but what machines are oh. going to be spawned? Whatever Cyan did, uh, best is happy about it. <laughs> Clearly not. Because the lava just fucking vanished. Um, so that's... Interesting! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I about went into the lava. It's on the outside, that's fine. I can deal with that. Okay. This is a bit too easy, I'd say. I should not be able to just access it this quick. Something's not right here. Alright, cool, I guess. Okay, now shit's gonna start. Oh god, are you a fire one? <laughs> no. Oh god. Nope. Ah. Jesus. 
Damn it, I need to hit the thing on its belly. Please do not touch the me. Ow! Could you not be a dick for two seconds? Okay, yep, so that's not gonna happen. I need to try just the regular ice and see if that will work at all for me. Ow! Why did you land on me? Ow! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck off with you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I want. Okay, let me just keep notching my arrows. Fucking full force attack. Ow, ow. That's what I want to hit is that core, though. If I damage the core quite a bit, that's probably going to be my best move. Can you protect me for two goddamn seconds then, please? I can't really do it unless I'm protect. Protect. It's really damaged already, so you just gotta... There we go. Cool. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Let's freeze this fucker some more. Freeze machine, you guys do the damage on him. I will I will take care of the tower. You guys take care of the bear thing. Okay? Because I can handle these. Well, I'm the only one that can handle these out of us. And then Ah, it's taken care of. Kill the fucking thing. Just keep fucking wailing on it, okay? I don't even know what the fuck I'm shooting right now. I'm just shooting something. Yep, that's fine. I still got plenty of this. Freeze, bitch. Freeze, bitch. Freeze. You want to hit it one time? No? Thanks, I guess. There you go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. It must that. be as you say. The tower is the key. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, just give me two seconds here, bud, okay? I, I wanna I just wanna gather stuff before we continue with that. Give me the mush, thank you. Jeez, that did not feel good <laughs> fighting that dude. All right, bud. Well, I'm just gonna. Hmm. 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 So, uh, what happened? Don't. Right, don't just. Rhea, um, my dear, I couldn't handle that. I don't know how you're gonna. Uh. Good, or are you gonna be dead? I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised element. Oh, she's apparently fine. Okay. In order to maintain Caldera, uh, nope, she's not fine. <laughs> to the auxiliary data center. What? Aurea, I'm free. You must escape. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
little bit too late for that. We need to go. <laughs> I really, she's dead, but we gotta go, bro. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. Dude, bro. Let's go. You and me are talk. Two frenemies against a giant collapsing machine building beast. Uh, run away! Supplies! Wait a second! Supplies! Run away! Okay, let's see. Behind me, bud. Our talk. Let's go. Oh, okay. Join me, I guess. Hop on, bro. Hop on, bro. Hop on, bro. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to what I do. Jesus. So this is going to cause the volcano to erupt, isn't it? Like... Uh, uh, thank you, my priest. If you want to just throw me back up there, probably be the easier move. Oh, oh. Give me up top, our attack. Now. Yeet me. I still get. Do I not have explosive stuff? Yay! Uh. So <laughs> I mean, hey! We're out! At the very- <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Christ. Like, my God. Uh. Don't mind me, I'm just T posing. At least my focus stays on. Hey, bud, how are you doing? Hmm. Rhea is gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song.
I mean, I, I, I expected one of them to die. I was expecting Aratok was going to end up dying, though, sacrificing himself. Alrighty, then. Um, I will just... I don't want to travel across the entire map. I will just, uh, do this. Thanks. Alright, Aratok. How's it going, bud? <sighs> I mean, yeah. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. Mm. We can resume any time you like, our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Alrighty. Can... Yeah, I I want to check up on him. Like, I'll be back for you, Cyan, but I need to check up on him. He, yeah. My dude, where did you go? There he is. Oh, everything's freezing. Ground, hey, bud. Air. Me. Talk to me. How you doing? My chieftain. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. Didn't let her down. Look at what she accomplished. She was willing to fight. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Aurea found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now, I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, <laughs> the path we shared. The daemon is gone. But there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, Fireclaws. 
Yeah. Now two has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically the new <laughs> See you later, bud. Time to talk to Cyan. Should be interesting. <sighs> yeah. I, I I think this is this is gonna be the end of the game. Like the official end of the game. Like this game has been fan fucking tastic. And I am very excited for the sequel later this year. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Areas, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So am yeah, I. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. Mm -hmm. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. So... What are you? Are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Gotcha. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. <laughs> if only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. All right, thanks. Um... Was the daemon Hephaestus? Destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. Hmm. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. 
Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry. That sounds... terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge, and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Mm. Those fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think gotcha. of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. I ran across a strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal God, them to become it. passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, 
and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is Flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. <laughs> but what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. Uh, all right. You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Asaya. But she was determined. How is Aratak doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Araya, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. Alrighty. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 hmm. years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. <laughs> There's a ruin east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. And I'm sorry, everybody, that, you know, we're just going through this. I, like, I love lore building in games, and this is just giving me a lot of answers. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? Mm, the same one? Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. The benefactor? 
But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And Elizabeth Sobeck. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. And no, 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 I, I didn't want that. That one. Thank you. World like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally Ugh. speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. Yeah, I don't say. There wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth. Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. Mm -hmm. So things got better. For a little while at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least, that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. Well, prim mm. I mean, you got it for what you get, you were made for. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Use your judgment, you've got to give them the truth, take it, take it gently. Life is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, <laughs> I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. Wait, does that mean... Well, Hello, let me... Eloy. Hi. Is there more you wish Ooh. to talk about? There is, Cyan. Oh, so no, I... There might be one thing I didn't get, maybe. Right, Cyan. I'm going to leave. I will quite literally... So let me. Cyan, I spoke with Anita when with Doctor Sandoval. Hmm? She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are. It would seem your time among the Banuk was 
just come to you. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. Why do you gotta be so, this way? The signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds of their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Sorry, sorry, give me a second. Give me a second, bud. Give me a second. There we go. Thank you. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual. That's lovely. <laughs> we haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. They won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. <laughs> Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You can <laughs> stop right there. <laughs> Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is <laughs> concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Uh, alrighty then. Um, yeah. I believe, I don't think I have anything left to do. I get one more skill. Machine repair, call mount plus. There we go. Now I can always have just a mound if I want one. <laughs> uh, Aaron's of the Forge. Yeah, he's... I mean, that I'm not really concerned with. I mean, there was that if I wanted to, but I'm not... Like I said, I'm not really like... Oh, we did have... One thing I need to wrap up. I need to go talk to Neil again. Um, because after I took out the last bandit camp, he decided to spawn over here, which I thought he did, but I... Didn't realize he did because I didn't have the marker on. Alright, uh, nil. Hey, bud. From as soon as I left up to now, the, the final episode. Oh. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm just grabbing, like, all your stuff. Thanks, bye. Hey, nil. Is I'm, yeah, the farewell, so I assume that this, I believe this was the final bandit camp, so. Hey, bud, what's up with you? It's so bittersweet. Like a smile for the bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. <sighs> oh, the bandit clans are gone. I hear another turned back at the southern plains. Just at a sniff of the legend we carved. <laughs> That's what all this bloodshed was for. To end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill. Unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. That's... ominous. Uh... You know, we'll go one more episode, I guess, so... Yeah. So thank you everybody so much for watching. You can check out my links on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Discord, all that in the description below. Next video will be back and we'll keep going. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one everybody as long as you hit that like and subscribe button. Bye bye!